Hey, um, I am excited that we're starting up our 2020 season for Little Tree Acoustic House Concerts. Um, such a such a great fun thing that we do. Uh, so the first show for the 2020 season is Justin Evan Thompson. He is coming with a bassist who's playing with him next Saturday. Uh, unfortunately, this is also coinciding with a worldwide pandemic, uh, the coronavirus. So, um, unfortunately, we're going to have to do things differently than we normally do. Um, and I will tell you why we do that. I, I know there's some disagreement on how exactly to behave with the virus um, because people are confused because we started off with some misinformation. Um, but the good news is we do know how to behave because Europe's out ahead of us and so we don't really need to speculate that much to know um, what's going to happen. I think we have a pretty good idea. So I'll say something about that at the end because I anticipate some of my friends will want to know what at least one scientist thinks about what's going to happen with us. Um, with regard to the concert, it would be irresponsible at this time to gather people together. Um, however, uh, technology does allow us to stream, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, I'm committed to supporting the arts. I think it's important now more than ever, and I know that the, uh, the virus is going to impact the economy in lots of ways. And so this is a good time to show up for artists, and so we're just as committed as we ever are. And I'm going to invite you to participate with me uh, to make sure we keep doing that effectively and I'm especially committed to the artists who were signed on this season. Um, and so we're going to put out a tip jar. Uh, we're going to make the technology works, uh, work. Uh, I'm going to encourage you to hole up in your space. I think that's the safe thing to do for a while. And um, you may feel a little stir crazy and you're going to be looking for some entertainment. And, I don't know if this is going to be something we continue with subsequent concerts. We're going to pay attention to what's going on in the world. But certainly for this first one, we're going to do it this way. And I have spoken with Justin, and that's the plan. And we're going to have a great show, and we're going to make sure we have the, ex you know, as much of the experience as we always do. Um, so we'll sort out the technical details. Uh, importantly, I'm going to give you the recipe for rum cake, because you're going to have to make it yourself this time and please show up with me for the artists this time um so let me uh let me say some things about the virus um people who are thinking that this is just a bad flu epidemic uh are not really paying attention this is a special situation one of the things that makes it special is how the virus is transmitted um there it has a on the average five day incubation period that's the time between when you get infected and when you'll show up positive with a test uh, you don't show symptoms typically until on the average 11 days and these numbers they have some range you know for example that the average incubation period is five days but it has been as long as 24 days and so some of the attempts to contain it in china uh, by um isolating people for two weeks it turns out it's not long enough for one percent of the cases and one percent's enough to cause a problem um the other thing is because of when symptoms show up and when you're contagious you're contagious even when you're asymptomatic so we probably have about thirty thousand people in the united states right now carrying the virus who don't know it um and the normal ways that viruses hop from person to person by getting you to sneeze or cough on your neighbor it's not necessary here that's why handshakes are a problem so the transmission rate is high and also the amount of effort it takes to get you well again is more than the normal flu so that's why beds are being saturated hospital beds are being saturated in some countries and thankfully because of geography we do have a chance to observe what's going on elsewhere um, so let's talk about Elsewhere, let me think if there's more to say about the numbers. I'll say some things about the numbers for a couple countries because there are a couple countries that are illuminating for us. One is a country that's probably a good model for our behavior, for American behavior, and that is Italy. Um, Italy's kind of like this place. If you know somebody tells you some rules 
they get you to follow getting a bunch of Italians to do the same thing good luck and that's the same with Americans and so they have had a laissez-faire attitude about this about the coronavirus and they are paying the price for that and we've done the same thing you know we had we could have been testing people as early as January and we haven't been and so we have a whole lot more cases than we know of and since our collective behavior is not very smart and reliable up to this point we are definitely getting smarter because we are learning from what happened in Europe and that's why the NBA is not having games with crowds maybe not having games at all I, I know we're not gathering people the same with the NCAA same with the political campaigns these are smart things that we're doing now um, but the smartest thing for you to do I, what I'm gonna do I can work from home I'm just gonna hold up for a while and hang out with myself and uh, be in my cave and so I know I'm probably gonna go a little stir crazy so things like uh, entertainment uh, streamed I'm going to be dying for it I'm going to get out I'm sure but uh, for the most part I'm gonna hang back and I would suggest you do it too so uh, in Italy let's look at the numbers um, it, so in addition to behavior um, the capacity of the healthcare system is similar in that I look these numbers up there's 3.3 hospital beds per thousand Italians there's 2.9 hospital beds per thousand Americans so we're comparable to Italians we're 10 percent less but we're comparable compare that with Japan Japan has 13.3 hospital beds per thousand Japanese so they have four times the capacity of Italians 4.4 times our capacity they can handle more they also I've been to Japan it's a lovely place and it is very different um, the ability of people to agree on rules to follow and then follow them is amazing <laughs> and so uh, their ability to control behavior and contain the virus is a whole lot um, more effective than we or Italians could be and so um, whereas there were just 16 cases in Japan and 627 uh, people tested positive when they tested them the ratio of those two numbers is 2.6 percent um, that sounds high on the end of mortality rates but it's not really a mortality rate because there's certainly a more Japanese than have tested positive uh, compare that with Italy um, it was getting kind of out of control in terms of saturating their capacity a little over a thousand deaths uh, 15,000 tested uh, positive that are infected and now uh, the country's locked down you know just to get get things under control so it doesn't run away uh, Niccolo my neighbor across the street has told me a trip to the grocery store they're just throttling people in five people at a time in the grocery store and so though uh, they may get it under control and not have as many deaths as they might have in a bad flu year the measures they have to go to go through to make that happen are unprecedented it's not a normal thing that you do with the flu and that's just the nature of um, the nature of things there so I think uh, it's in order to compensate for our uh, kind of failed collective behavior so far we're going to have to take responsibility for our own safety uh, which means I'm personally I'm gonna hang out by myself um, where I am for a while and just work from home and I'm not going to encourage people to gather with me like for potlucks or concerts you know that's sad for me but not as sad as dying so I, <laughs> uh, so let's not die together and let's um, help each other out and if you have more toilet paper than you need give it to your neighbor <laughs> um, and also please share the share this video so people get the word out with your little tree friends you know the 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 downside is we're not going to gather together uh, the upside is you can expand your circle of people that you share little tree concerts with and you can invite your friends in Kentucky or Seattle or Peru or in Europe somewhere um, let's do that and let's make a point of supporting the arts just like we always do please keep using the PayPal link just consider it a tip jar that's going to go to Justin and um, uh, and I'll give you some more information as we go we got a week to sort out the technical details and we've streamed things before so we're not going to have uh, trouble figuring it out um, and we're going to enjoy Justin's music um, so join me for that and stay safe
Okay.